in this series of videos i'm going to be showing you how to build these really cute absolutely fantastic fully functional iron farms all in the style of a vehicle they're all based around my tiny iron farm and each one of them with the exception of the school bus at the end fits in an area of four blocks by seven that's tiny and each one of them will produce at least 350 iron ingots per hour and they'll work 24 7. all you have to do is make sure that you don't put these within 20 blocks of another villager they all use lava to kill the golems because lava is the quickest way to do that uh, the lava will kill a golem within 12 seconds which means even if the golem spawns at this end of the vehicle he'll be dispatched within 15 seconds the villagers inside will then call another golem within 30 seconds so every 45 to 50 seconds you'll get a golem each golem will drop between three and five pieces of iron so you can do the maths these things work so now I'll show you how to build them. Hey everybody, this is Fully Off and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this fantastic iron farm in the shape of a burger van, affectionately known as the Buns of Iron. Now before we get stuck in and I'll show you how to build it and I'll show you what you need to build it, I need to point out that this is a Java version, Java 116.3 Iron Farm. It won't work in Bedrock, it won't work on console, PlayStation, PS4, uh, Switch, anything like that. This is a Java build. Iron Golem spawning in Bedrock is completely different. It needs 20 beds, it needs 10 villagers, you don't need a zombie to scare the villagers in bedrock in this in java you need three villagers you need three beds and you need a zombie or something to scare the villagers so this will not work on bedrock please don't ask in the comments uh, if, if you can't adapt it it won't work so to build this farm you're going to need an area that is four blocks wide by seven blocks deep you're also going to have to build up by eight blocks so take that into account when you're finding somewhere to build it now everything you need to build this farm is in this chest here so pause the video if you need to and now we can crack on and build it so now you've found somewhere to build it you need to put down your four wheels so stick a stick a wheel down just there and then go over two spaces put another one down just there so you've got a gap of two and then you want to leave a gap of three put down your third wheel and then back over again so you've got all four wheels down and take out your slab and you want to put a slab at the back just there bring that across the back like that and then you want to take it all the way to the front like that so now take out your note blocks get to the front of the vehicle and you want to put down two note blocks there and there that's going to be your grill on the front of the van then take out your red concrete and put a block of red concrete above every wheel and now fill in the rest with yellow concrete leaving that space there that's a space your zombie is going to be standing in okay so fill the rest up with yellow concrete so now you should have something that looks like that so now we're going to build the wall up a little bit so go to the front of the van and stick down you'll have to crouch to do this stick down some yellow concrete across the front and then a block of red and then yellow and then miss that gap you want to put a campfire in there and then yellow then red and then yellow and do the same on the other side so it's red then yellow then a campfire and red and then yellow then yellow then red and then red lorry yellow lorry red lorry i bet you can't say that fast 10 times so now you should have something that looks like that now we want to just jump inside the van being careful not to stand on that you'll burn yourself if you do you want to put a yellow block just there and then jump into your zombie hole and stick down a trap door i'm using a birch trap door because it's a little bit yellow you can use any colored trap door you like i'm just using that one because it's yellowish okay and then jump out and you want to put another one just there and these stop the zombie from being able to hit the villager now i've never had it myself in testing but uh, i've been told it occurs where the zombie can stand here and is able to hit the villagers 
by putting that trap door there and that trap do door there, that stops this from happening. The zombie is now no longer able to hit the villager. So once you've put those in, you need to take out your bed and then get to the front and put a bed down with the head of the bed facing backwards. It's really important that the head of the bed is facing backwards because if it's not, then when the zombie is in the hole and the villager is in bed, the zombie can hit the villager and sometimes the villager is going to jump out and land in the zombie hole and you don't want that happening now, do you? And then go to the back facing the front and you want to put down two more beds there like that. So the heads of all the beds are in the middle. So wherever the villager is in here, he can access the bed. Okay? So now you should have something that looks like that. Now for the next layer, we want to get to the front and we want to take out our glass panes and we want to put a line of glass panes across the front. That's the windscreen, like that. And then down the side, we want a red piece of concrete there. Then we're going to want a trap door. I'm using spruce. You can use any type of trap door you like. These are for the countertops. So we've got a spruce door there. We then need an iron trap door just there. Actually, that's probably better if we do it that way around. Uh, these, uh, yours may look different to mine. I'm using the better than default texture pack, but uh, I'm using it because it looks like a griddle kind of thing. And then we'll take out the spruce trap doors again, spruce trap door there, and then a red piece of concrete like that, and then a yellow piece of concrete like that. And then we want to do the same on the other side. So it's red piece of concrete, spruce trap door, Iron trap door, spruce trap door, red concrete, yellow concrete. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now, while you've got your trap doors in your hand, you may as well put the trap doors along the front just here. So stick three trap doors there, there, and there, and then just open them like that. And then do the same on the other side. Now for the next layer, get back to the front again and you want to put two stairs bang in the middle above your panes of glass like that, two quartz stairs. And then go to the side facing the other side and put down a stair. So it's sort of like a corner stair like that. And then do the same on the other side. And then take out your yellow concrete. You need to put a line of yellow concrete along the front like that. Then you want to put another two yellow blocks just there, like that. And then take out your jack-o'-lanterns. This is going to provide light for the inside of the vehicle. If you don't put light in here, something could spawn in here. It's going to kill your villagers. It's going to break the farm. And then you want to put some more yellow concrete there and there. And then a line of yellow concrete there. And then stick one block of concrete on that side, one block of concrete on the other side. So now you've got that. So now we're going to stick in the collection area. So take out your chests and you'll need to put a chest there and a chest there like that. That's going to collect all your iron. And then you want two hoppers pointing into those chests like that. And then another two hoppers pointing into those hoppers. And then go around the other side. You'll want two hoppers pointing into those hoppers. Make sure the nozzles are pointing into those hoppers. If they're not, if they're pointing straight down like that. This is not going to work. Okay, so make sure they are pointing into the other hopper. Just crouch when you're, when you're facing that hopper. And then do the same again on this side. Two more hoppers there. And then two more hoppers there and there. And then fill the rest of the roof in with the yellow concrete. This is a killing area. This is where the golem turns into iron. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now take out your walls. I'm using sandstone walls because they're, they're sort of yellowish. If you wanted to use wood fences, Make sure fire ticks are turned off on your server or on your uh, uh, single player world. If they're not, if you use wood from the overworld on here, if you use fences from the overworld on here, 
and fire ticks are on on your server or on your single player world the lava is going to set fire to them and then you'll have lava and water and all kinds of bad stuff going on which is why i'm using walls because walls don't catch fire if you do want to use wood use the wood that is in the the nether that doesn't appear to catch fire certainly not at the moment but anyway grab yourself a wall and put a wall all the way around the outside of your burger van like that and then at the back above your hoppers you want to put down another level like that and you want to extend that down the side by two so you want one there one there okay then the same one to the side one wall there one wall there so you've got that and then take out your signs you'll need a sign just there and then a sign just there and then on the second level up a sign there and a sign just there okay that's where your lava is going to go that's going to kill your golem when he stands in here 12 seconds later he's going to die he's going to drop his uh, ill-gotten gains onto these hoppers here but sometimes he won't just drop them straight down which is why we need the hoppers to go around the sides because there's a chance when he drops it it's going to land on that block or it's going to land on that block or that block or that block and if it does it won't get sucked up by the hoppers and it'll just stack up and you'll lose quite a lot of the drops which is why we need so many hoppers but to be honest in a few hours you'll have more iron than you know what to do with anyway hoppers aren't going to be a problem so now you've got that you need to take out your lava bucket put some lava there and there you can get away with just using one bucket of lava if you want and have flowing lava it doesn't matter uh, but if you've got one piece of lava one bucket of lava you could probably get another bucket of lava so now you've got that and then you're going to have to get out of your farm get out of here because if you we're going to put water down here in a second and if you're in here when you put the water down you're going to find it hard to get out okay so get yourself out like that and then you want to put some water on that block there and that block there now don't put your water on the wall don't look at the wall when you're placing the water if you do that will happen because you can now waterlog walls okay so don't do that don't do what i've just done okay you'll need to just stand here and look at those blocks there and you want to put some water down there and some water down there so now you've got something that looks like that. So now we need to start thinking about getting the villagers inside the burger van. But before we do that, we need to spawn proof the area around it. If we don't spawn proof the area around it and we have villagers in there, they could call for a golem and the golem's going to spawn outside. It's not it's not a disaster if that happens we just we just kill the golem uh, and and then spawn proof it but you really don't want to be fighting golems they don't half hit hard okay so spawn proof the area first and you need to spawn proof it out to seven blocks away from the burger van uh, and the easiest way to do that is by using carpet but you can use any other spawn proofing method that you want farmland or path blocks or, or you know anything anything you like but i'm going to be using carpet now we've spawn proof the area you need to get to the front you need to go to the left side of the van okay so go around to the left hand side of the van here you need to break these blocks now we could have left them out to start with uh, but it was just easier putting everything in and then just taking out the ones we don't need so you need to break those blocks there this is going to be the area where your villagers climb into the van so if we just put down another block there a temporary block there then you need to go and wrangle yourself some villagers now there are there are loads of ways to do it in boats mine carts all kinds of ways i'm not going to show you how to wrangle a villager i'm just going to spawn them in with a spawn egg now once you've got your villagers here you need to wait for it to get dark they might try and get in the van without it uh being dark but uh, if you really want to make it that much easier just wait for it to get dark and they'll go in and once it gets dark they're going to jump into the van and they're going to find a bed aren't you fellas well, there's one there. There's one there. There you go. Don't be shy. So now they've associated themselves with the bed like that. They've slept, which is one of the criteria needed to make a golem. And you didn't have to mess about getting them in. They sort of climbed in themselves. So then just put that back. 
put that back, put your trap doors back again like that. Not forgetting to, to put your carpet back. And now we have to go and wrangle ourselves a zombie. Now wrangling the zombie is probably the hardest thing you're going to have to do to make this farm work. A, a zombie or a husk or a, a pillager will do. But you need to get it in there. You need to get it next to that trap door. Uh, you get them in boats, get them in, uh, in mine carts. You might even just be able to pop out that area there and, and get a zombie in the area. And it could jump up and go into here like this. Um... It, it, it's hit or miss okay it's, it, it is difficult there's no there's no easy way to do it uh, but i'm going to stick that block back there and i'm going to just spawn in a zombie like that now he needs to be name tagged if you if he's holding something you might get away without him being name tagged but uh, but if he isn't name tagged you need to name tag him you don't want him despawning while you're off unloading the chunks so now we've name tagged burger bob we can put the block back in the front like that now that farm will work now constantly every 45 to 50 seconds it the, the the villagers in there will panic because the zombie is there obviously when they go onto that block next to the trap door they feel safe that's their safe block if they don't go onto that safe block at night they won't sleep and if they don't sleep the farm will break so if your farm's not working at all then it could well be that the the the, uh, the villagers aren't feeling safe on that block. If that's the case, put another block there, like that. Okay, you shouldn't need it, but if you're finding that they're not sleeping at night, that could be one of the problems. So now that they now that they're scared, now that they've slept, they're going to spawn a golem every 30 seconds it takes 12 seconds for the zombie uh, for the golem to die so if even if it spawns over here it'll be dead within 15 seconds they'll call another one 30 or so seconds later so every 45 seconds this is going to provide you with a golem and each golem gives you three to five ingots of iron so now you should have something that looks like that So now it's time to do a little bit of decorating. So we're, first of all, we're going to do the banners on the left. We're going to do the, the hot dog banner down the left. I'll show you how to make it. There are, there are, I'm sure there are loads of tutorials out there. This is a very basic one, and there may well be better ones out there. But if you grab yourself a yellow banner, put it in the loom, and then you want to put a border around the side of it that's black. Uh, sorry, that's, uh, that's uh, brown, like that. And then you want to put stripes down it like that so you've got the the stripy brown banner and then you want to put some pink dye in and you want to do a, a pink line straight down the middle that's going to be your your sausage your hot dog like that then take that and just put a red border around the side of it that border there i don't know what it's called but you want that border around it so then you've got that then that you can copy these you don't have to do it all, do it all again you can you can copy them and then you've got your red hot dog banner and you want to put one of those on both sides one there and one there and then to do the chalkboard is really easy get yourself a white banner stick it in the loom get yourself some black dye and you want to do the the brick effect like that and then you want to do that one there that darkens the top gradients down from the top and then you want to do the one that gradients up from the bottom like that simple and that's your blackboard your chalkboard or whatever you want to call it your specials board so that one goes there copy it and put another one there like that so now you've got something that looks like that now get to the front of the band you need to put down a couple of item frames there and there and on those item frames we're going to put a couple of lanterns they're the headlights and they go around to the left hand side you want to put a lever just there with the the handle facing upwards and then on top of that you want to put down a black pane of glass that's the the wing mirror and the the, the bracket for the wing mirror and then do the same on the other side lever handle facing upwards and then black piece of glass on it like that and then working your way down the side 
we need to put down three item frames in there. We're going to put pictures of food on there in a little while, but we're not going to do it just yet. And then you want to take out your trap doors and you're going to have to crouch. You want a trap door there, one there and one there. And then you want a trap door there, there and just there like that. Okay, that one's got to be on the bottom of the uh, uh, the bottom of that block. If we put it... If we put it there, so it closes, that would look fantastic if we could do that. But if we do that, that is now a spawning space for a golem and it can spawn on that trapdoor there. Okay, so we have to put it on the bottom of that block there. Okay? And we want to do the uh, same on the other side. So whiz around the other side. Three item frames there, there and there. Trapdoors, crouch, trapdoor there, there. There, and a trapdoor there, like that. Now take out your yellow banners, and you're going to have to crouch again. And you're going to have to put banners on the sides of all of these hoppers. This just hides the hoppers, really. Like that. Now at the back, you want to take out your item frames again. Put one item frame there, one item frame there. Put a red bed on each of them and just rotate the bed around so it looks like a stoplight. Like that. And to finish it off, you just need uh, some stone buttons. You're going to have to pop out that bit of carpet there. And you want a stone button in the middle of the wheel. Make it look like a hubcap or the centre of the wheel, like that. Now take out some food. I've just got a selection you can put on there, whatever you like. And just put some food in these item frames. So we've got a bit of chicken, a bit of bread. Got a cake. The cake doesn't look very good, does it? Maybe we won't do the cake. And then we'll have a baked potato there like that. And on the other side, we'll have maybe some more chicken. Uh, a drink. And some more chicken. Like that. You can, it's entirely up to you what you put up there. So now, you should have something that looks just like that. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, everybody. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. And don't forget to check out all the other vehicles in this range. They're all fantastic. This is Fully Off, and I'm out of here.